So Oppo's Find X2 phones are finally here and they're definitely early contenders for the best premium smartphone crown of 2020. What you get is cutting edge display tech, incredible smarts and some exclusive and highly versatile optics on that Pro model. And you also get a feature packed software experience on both of these Find X2 phones thanks to the Color OS 7.1 launcher which squats neatly on top of Android 10. But of course the latest Color OS is incredibly dense so here's my full tips and tricks guide for the Find X2 and the Find X2 Pro and that Color OS 7.1 software which sits on top just so you can help find the best bits nice and easy. And for more on the latest greatest tech please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So one of the features introduced by Android 10 is a good bit of dark mode action and yes you do get it here in Color OS 7.1 as well. You can find and activate the dark mode by diving into the Find X2 settings, go to display and brightness and it's right there. And you'll find that switching on the dark mode doesn't just affect the Oppo Find X2 and the Find X2 Pro's settings menu. You'll find that most of your Google apps will also adopt that dark finish as well and quite a lot of your third party apps as well. Oppo reckons that 90% of the most popular third party apps will switch to dark mode once you activate it in those settings. And you don't actually have to have dark mode activated all of the time. You can have it coming on just in the evenings for instance to provide nice easy on the eye experience as you can see here you just have to have that scheduled time option activated and then you can set the exact start time and the exact end time as well. And if you actually want fast access to that dark mode you can add a shortcut icon to the notification center as well. All you got to do is tap this little edit icon right here. There is a proper dark mode icon. Just drag that into the rest of the fray. And then when you want to activate or deactivate, just drag down the notifications and then you can just tap that icon to switch it on or off. Now another tip and something that I always do as soon as I get a new color OS device is ditch that navigation bar down at the bottom of the handset and start using navigation gestures. To do this just head into the settings, head all the way down until you find convenience tools and then in there you'll find navigation buttons. You can customize the buttons if you like but I prefer to just use the swipe gestures from both sides option. And with this active you can go back at any point in any of your apps or the settings menus with a quick swipe from the left or the right side of the screen. You can go back to the home screen just by swiping up from that bottom edge and if you swipe up and actually hold your finger you can then access all of your recent apps. Now one of the highlights of the Oppo Find X2 and the Find X2 Pro is undoubtedly that 6.78 inch ultra vision display. It's absolutely stunning stuff and it's fully customizable from within the Find X2 settings menu. And what you want to do is head into the settings menu, not too surprisingly, just go to the display and brightness section. And here you've got all kinds of customization you can do. So for instance, you can tweak the color output on the Find X2 and the Find X2 Pro. It's in vivid mode to begin with, but you can set it to gentle if you prefer more natural hues or a bit cinematic as well. Now both the Find X2 and the Find X2 Pro have a dynamic screen resolution. It can switch between Full HD Plus and Quad HD Plus to match whatever you're up to at the time. So it'll jump up to Quad HD Plus if you're watching a supported video or playing a supported game. Uh, I recommend keeping it on dynamic though if you have an interest in preserving your battery life. Ditto the refresh rate, it can top off at 120 hertz. It's set to a dynamic refresh rate though so it only bumps up to those higher levels when really needed. Of course if you would prefer to have a silky smooth experience at all times over having a long battery life then definitely bump it up to that 120 hertz maximum effort. And while we're there in the display settings you'll definitely want to check out the O1 Ultra Vision Engine. Slightly clunkily titled but it's some very clever software smarts that Oppo has installed exclusively on the Find X2 and the Find X2 Pro. And this can be used to upscale your video and gaming visuals similar to Sony's X Reality Engine found on its Xperia 1 Mark II smartphone. Of course the O1 Ultra Vision engine is deactivated by default so you'll need to turn it on with a quick tap of that little slider and then you've got two options as you can see here. You've got your HDR video enhancement which basically upskills SDR content to near HDR levels really bumps the contrast and the color output so it looks absolutely stunning and then you've also got the video motion enhancement option as well and this can boost your 30 FPS content to either 60 FPS or 120 FPS although take note that if you want to jump up to 120 FPS as you can see there you can't have it in ultra HDR HD resolution it has to be in full HD. And according to Oppo this enhancement technology is supported by Amazon for its Prime Video service and also YouTube although there was no mention of Netflix. Now the Oppo Find X2 and the Find X2 Pro are both 6.78 inch devices. In other words they're absolute units so you'd figure they'd be pretty tricky to use with one hand right? Well you're gonna need to take all the help you can get and thankfully there are a couple of features here in ColorOS version 7.1 that definitely help out. So for instance you can swipe down that notifications bar from anywhere on screen without having to reach all the way up to the very top. 
To get this on the go, what you'll need to do is go into the settings menu on the Find X2 and then go to the home screen and wallpaper section. And in there you'll find swipe down on home screen. By default, this will uh, open up the global search bar, but what you wanna do is switch that to notification center. And then if we go back to the home screen, then you can just drag down that notifications bar anywhere. But that's not all. There is actually a proper dedicated one-handed mode here on the Finex 2 and the Finex 2 Pro as well, part of that Color OS 7.1 software. Again, you'll need to dive into the notification shortcut icons and it's buried away down here. As you can see right there, one-handed mode. Again, just drag that into the icons. And then whenever you need that one-handed mode, just pull down the notification center, it's right there. Oop. And then this just shrinks everything down to that bottom edge of the screen so it's nice and easy to access. And then when you're done, just tap this little icon here and you're back to normal. Now, if we just briefly dive back into the display section here on ColorOS 7.1, there are a couple of other great features in there that are well worth a mention. The first one being the screen light effects feature. This basically allows you to light up the edges of the Fine X2 and the Fine X2 Pro to further notify you whenever something like a call is coming in. You can actually change up the color as well. So for instance, I've got it on amber orange to match the gorgeous vegan leather finish here on the back of my Fine X2 Pro. And if you scroll up a bit from there, you'll find the screen off color clock feature. This is basically just another term for an always on display. As you can see there, you can actually schedule it to come on between specific times. You can change up the clock style as well. So I've got this funky neon effort. So whenever the screen is off, that will pop up onto the display. So you can still see what the time is and you see any notifications or anything that are awaiting your attention. Now, one of the benefits of having such a flipping huge display is the fact that it's dead easy to get a bit of multitasking on the go and definitely worthwhile. So for instance, whenever you're actually in an app, you just swipe three fingers up the screen like so, and then you can open up another app. The secondary app will then open up in the bottom half of the display. So you can quickly scroll around there. You can resize each of these windows as well. So you can have one dominate in the other. It's quite handy, especially if you're watching a bit of YouTube action, you can just watch it in a tiny little window up at the top while actually having a pretty damn good bit of screen space to get on with emailing, work, whatever you want to do. And in case you're wondering, this feature can actually be activated and deactivated in the special split screen dedicated section in the settings menu. Now, modern life can, of course, be pretty damn ferocious at times, really stressful stuff. And like most northerners, I like to relax and unwind at the end of a long busy day by downing about half a bottle of whiskey and passing out on the sofa in front of Don't Tell the Bride. Well, hopefully the Oppo Fine X2 and the Fine X2 Pro will be able to save a few livers because what it has on here is the very handy Oppo Relax app. Now, Oppo Relax can help you channel your inner Buddhist with all kinds of stress relieving activities and exercises. So for instance, you've got the pretty standard breathing exercises which help you to relax your body and your mind. You've also got a selection of chilled tunes as well to help you get focus or some much needed kip. And of course, the obligatory calm and sound effects as well, from jungle noises to the pitter patter of April showers. And there's also a camping sound effects effort, which most definitely doesn't relax me at all. It just gives me flashbacks to my time as a Cub Scout. Definitely a time best left well buried in the past. And any sleep deprived parents will definitely appreciate the addition of white noise, which seems to chill out babies and get them to shut the hell up for just a minute or so while you go have a cry of your own in the corner somewhere. And last up, it's great to see that the Game Space app is once again back on board here for the Oppo Final x2 and the fine x2 pro these days gamespace has a real emphasis on online gaming with features that can help reduce network latency for a reliable connection very handy for games like pubg and fortnite where you're competing against other players so first up you're going to use gamespace to actually load up one of your favorite games at which point it has network priority and also the lion's share of the oppo fine x2 or the fine x2 pro's resources now at any point where you're actually in the game, just swipe your finger down from the top left corner towards the center of the screen and you'll call up the game space menu. As you can see there, one of the features this immediately pulls up is the current time and your battery life remaining as well. So you know whether you actually need to quit the game and get back into the real world. You can also fast access the likes of WhatsApp as well. So you can get involved with any messaging without actually ruining what's going on in the game. You've also got the option to record your gaming session if you want to upload it online or just share it with your mates. Good news if you want to keep your focus as well because you can block all notifications during your gaming session and if you drag down like so you can also reject all calls. You've also got a 4D vibration feature which is not compatible with all games so for instance PUBG Mobile is not supported and as you can see there you can get a little FPS counter if you want it. And of course you can get up to all kinds of clever shenanigans with the Oppo Fine X2 Pro's camera tech as well but I'll save that for another day. I'll be bringing you my full in-depth Oppo Fine X2 Pro camera review in just a couple of days after this video here goes live where I'll dive into all those smart new features including some really 
really good video tech stuff as well. So that right there is my full tips and tricks guide for the Oppo Find X2 and Find X2 Pro using the Color OS 7.1 launcher. What do you reckon? Have I missed any of your favorite personal features? Definitely feel free to bung a comment down below and wise me up to them. And for more than the latest, greatest tech, please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers, everyone. Love you.